Welcome back. I'm feeling quite a bit better after that last video, and now I'm ready to tackle Apartment Complex, which is apparently, from the looks of things, another pink ball dodging level with some keys and stuff. So, with that in mind, let us begin. And this looks like we're going to be in for some dodging madness here. Oh man. Whoa. Yeah, I'm really worried about that sort of thing happening, but at least this is a little bit more controlled. At least there are predetermined paths, or excuse me, predefined paths that you can see for each ball, which is nice. I'm gonna wait there, and I'm trying to see where on earth this key is. There we go, it was in the last place, of course. And I guess we just need to go in here into each apartment and get the chips. Makes sense. Thankfully, these all seem to be red for red trades, which makes this fairly simple. In, honest, uh, in all honesty, I think this level is a little bit more reminiscent of an apartment complex than the level called Apartment from the original game. At least, it feels like an apartment complex that I might visit. And I'm going to try to go uh, in a spiral pattern. Well, sort of. I know this is not exactly perfect, but you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Alright. 22. 21. Let me go ahead and take care of this one. Might as well. Oh, I didn't mean to step down there. That was That was silly, but at least now I know where the key is. And hopefully that won't happen again, because that would be extra silly. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go by apartments. So I'm going to go up here, even though it's a little bit further inward. I'm going to make sure each square is covered. And I'll get to that other half of that lower right-hand square here in a little bit. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and take... Well, I'm going to die first, apparently, but... I'm going to go ahead and try to take care of each square, or <clears throat> each apartment building, I guess you could say. I kind of wish that the pathways were uh, more than one space wide. That might be a little bit more forgiving, but at the same time, that might also... Uh, limits the number of apartments, but I'd be willing to go for, like, smaller apartments, so... Yeah. Yeah, I like the concept of the design of this level, I really do. It's just, these balls are just kind of a little bit annoying. Like I've said in past videos and on my blog on CC Zone, I think one of the charms of Chip's Challenge that gets lost with a lot of custom levels is exploration. And this level is, is pretty good at exploration in terms of the, the basic design and everything, but ultimately having these very narrow passages where you can get clobbered by a ball at any second kind of limits you. And it makes the exploration element a little bit less fun. Okay, at least I know there's nothing waiting around the corner there. I'm gonna wait. I hope these don't collide with each other, because that would just be mean. I'm wondering if maybe that's what the ice is for. Maybe the ice somehow aids in ensuring that that doesn't happen. Maybe not, but it would be nice. Whoa. I tend to panic when a monster comes up like that. I need to work on that. Okay, come back. There we go. Good, good, good. Awesome. Okay. Alright, now we're getting someplace. Oh, wait. I should probably go there. There we go. I'm back there. There you go. 
Okay, we're almost done. Almost there. Okay, nine left now. This should be fairly simple. I'm wondering if there's a pattern to the ice. I just haven't noticed it yet, maybe. Ooh, collision. Collision. So yeah, maybe the ice is just completely random. Maybe it's not supposed to be some sort of collision deterrent. Interesting, okay. I'm wondering if maybe these balls, if, if these are supposed to be apartment buildings, maybe these are supposed to be cars that are pulling in and out and going through, you know, various entrances and exits to the complex. And I don't know, I'm thinking way too hard on this, I know. Okay, as long as I don't get caught in one of those death traps where everything is spaced weirdly, then I should be alright. Thankfully there's some gravel here, and the gravel is a real lifesaver. Okay, so with that done, let's go back out here, because I th think the exit's here, right? Whoa, risky business. Thankfully there's gravel blocking the ends of- oh, there you go. <laughs> I just ducked in the wrong side. All right, we are done with apartment complex, and now we can move on to solipsism. And we got more balls, yay. So what do we do here, let's see. Can we go down? No, okay. Interesting, so we gotta get this block out of the way, but I get the impression that we're supposed to use this somehow, right? Or are we supposed to bridge? No. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that we're supposed to push this left or something. Somehow. Alright, so now we got more balls and more blocks and more stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna look around. Whoops, I'm gonna die first, I guess. Now I'm gonna look around, so I'm gonna get this key again. I like the design of this with these pink balls. That is just spot on. And I died the exact same way! That's... That is just silly. That's... I shouldn't be doing that. That is really silly. Okay, blue key. This time, do not die. Do not die. Do not die. There we go. Yellow. Awesome. Okay. So what's the goal here? Let's, let's just kind of get our bearings. Okay, we got multiple blocks. Interesting. And what's down there? Is there... Oh, okay. So there's stuff there. I kind of wish I could see what's down there, but oops. I need to be more careful, guys. I'm being really careless. Am I to assume that we're supposed to go outward that way? I'm just going to... I'm going to try that. Cause I'm, it looks like we can bring the blocks in here, which seems to suggest that need, they need to be used for that specific purpose. But my question, though, is can the block be pushed up there without... Yeah, they can. Okay, good. So I want to make sure the ball didn't naturally get trapped up there before I pushed it to either side, so... There we go. Okay, so there's a path there. My voice is totally squeaky tonight. And now we got multiple balls with which to contend. And there's stuff up here, okay. Was that right? Was I supposed to do that? Hmm. Okay, so one, two, the one below me, and then the one up there is three. Okay, so I really need three. That's all I actually need is three blocks. Okay, I can get at least two from here, right? This is a really interesting concept. I, I gotta say I like this. Okay, well, and I can't really retrieve those, right? I mean... Or can I? Wait a minute. Yeah, I can. There we go. We just have to use these. Okay, I didn't want to make a fatal mistake there. Okay, now we're one step closer, are we? Oh, I have to put another one below this. Oh, oh, okay. All right, whoa. 
I am a little rusty on all this dodging business, I gotta say. So I wonder if I, if I have to do that for both sides? If so, then I gotta be really careful. Okay, so one more for the left side. Oops, that was really silly. And there's nothing down there. Well, I gotta trap that, and I'm assuming that that pretty much cooks the level. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue onward. So, am I correct in assuming that that's... No, I can build up here. Does that do any good? I'm gonna see if that works. That uses less, so... Let's just try f try that method. Maybe that works. Two, okay. In some ways, this kind of reminds me of the level uh, Parallels from uh, Pit of 100 Tiles. Except with a little bit more confinement. And this time I'm not going to open that door up, because that's just going to cause trouble. Not until I absolutely need that. Okay, so... Oh, okay, I need to open up the other bridge on the other side to really make this work and get out, so... Okay, that's that makes sense. And I've got just four here, so that also is good. Okay, let's do this. Let's just go over here. So, I'm going to have to assume that the red key that is required to exit is located uh, at the bottom after we release that other ball and open the yellow door. Why did I do that? That was... Okay, that was really, really dumb. And I guess if you splash, then you get a splash sound like you do with a block instead of uh, the BING sound that you normally get in Lynx. I kind of like that concept, the idea of having different uh, death sounds. Although, I don't know, if you had a sound for chip burning, that would be kind of a little morbid, I guess. Okay, let's do it right this time. Let's just bridge over here, and then bridge over there, and we should be A-OK. -okay. So yeah, the design of this level is amazing. Once again, top-notch um, aesthetics. It's just incredible. Okay, the question about this that I've got is how do you let this go over there and make it back when you push the block into that this space right here that's my question I want to make sure I understand that and no make that same mistake again JB so I can figure that out then this shouldn't be that bad it's just trying to get this part that concerns me or is this supposed to be a situation where we do that? Okay, that makes sense. Kind of like chip away. That that makes some sense. Okay. So was that area to the right just meant to be entirely a red herring? That you could theoretically build to? Or is there an alternate way to do this? There must be an alternate way to do this, right? Maybe not. Okay, one more block, one more. We are almost done. There we go. Okay. I think the strategy of waiting to open the blue really paid off. Excellent, we made it. Okay, so now, now we need to get the red key down here. Okay, I'm going to wait for them to clump up and then go down, just to be safe. Okay, so... Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm just going to put it up here and just go back. Okay, let me grab this, and then... Why is that one in a trap? That's weird.
Okay, let me open this, and then those will die. And now I can get this. Yeah, and monsters make the splashy sound when they die in Lynx, which is cool. Excellent! Slipsism complete. I like that level a lot. Good job, Josh. Light this maze on fire. Fire mazes are pretty overused concepts, said so no player ever. That's true. I don't see a lot of fire mazes these days. Kind of sad. So, I hear bombs exploding. Is there a monster cloning mechanism going on, kind of like internal clock from CCLP2? Something's got to be happening here, right? This cannot be all there is. That's my classical music improvisation right there. So yeah, there's some something going on that we haven't seen yet, but hopefully I'm going quickly enough to ensure that Aha! There it is. It's that fireball cloner. Hopefully I'm going quickly enough to make sure that the entire maze isn't lit on fire before I can get everything. Okay, did I miss stuff over here? I think I did. See, there are different types of mazes. There are mazes that have a clear linear structure in the sense that you start off in one area and there are various branches of the path, but ultimately the path leads you to another area. And then there are mazes where you kind of start and you end in the same general area and you can just pick whatever direction you want. And this maze seems to fall into the latter category, if I'm reading it right. And to be honest, I kind of like the latter category better because it's better designed, usually. Or at least the designer actually thinks of ways to make the player feel a little bit more lost when playing it. Uh, then would be the case if the maze was linearly designed. So let's go this way. The la Yep, last two chips. Excellent. Okay, so now we gotta find a way to beat the fireballs. Whew. And boom. There we go. So I suppose if they hit that button, then it would have been curtains for us. Corrupted system folder. What's this all about? Start off here with some dodging, which I, for some reason I'm having trouble with all this dodging lately. Yeah, and the force floors have this sound that they play in links when you do this. Honestly, I think that sound is kind of a little annoying. And we can't do anything there. How about here? Okay, we can go in there, and it looks like we can get the green key we need to get out, so let's do that. Sokoban! Yay! Let's see if we can conquer this Sokoban without too much problem. It looks like we're going to also have some block sliding action to do here in a little bit. Well, that wasn't too bad. We can just push them right here. Now the question is, do we need to push these blocks out of this room. Wait, I don't know if we can do that, actually. Well, we can do that with this door, but we can't do that with this door or the other door. So, let's go ahead and try getting this bomb. There we go. And now let's get the other blocks onto the slide. Okay, that's going to be an interesting challenge. I should have done that earlier. But now we're going to have to mess up the perfectly stable monster dodging system here. Although, wait a minute, that might actually be a good thing if they all stabilize into one loop. Come on, there we go. Excellent. Good. Okay, now let's get you guys here. Whoops. Try that again. Good. 
Excellent. I feel like block sliding is a little easier in Lynx, but maybe that's just me. Yeah, and if you try to like hold down a key when you're on a force floor, you're gonna push the walls and it will slow you down in Lynx, which is an interesting difference. Okay, this time I'm gonna actually push these beforehand. Okay, and we got a blue wall maze, which is pretty great. Let's see what we got here. We got some chips, and another chip. So, I've been thinking, and this is just a wild thought. Wouldn't it be cool, and I know we don't have a super crazy number of graphic designers in the Chips Challenge community, but wouldn't it be awesome if we created more tile sets? Because I feel like that's an area that we haven't really dabbled in very much. I mean, we have one tile set that's called the Natural uh, CC tile set, which basically has potato chips to collect and floors and green grass and stuff, which I think is an awesome concept. But it would be really cool if we could see other things like that, so that maybe they have like a medieval theme, more like a, oh, I don't know, um, like a cavern-like theme, or I'm just thinking of various random stuff, so. I don't know, just a thought. Maybe it's a totally crazy bad idea, but I think it would be really cool if it had something like that. And besides, I'm hoping that a new tile set can somehow be created by somebody in time for the CCLP1 release, or following it if need be. And now, I think I, what I have to do is I have to push this guy and then... Oh, I have to enter in from there. Ooh, okay. Tricky, tricky. But I like it. Except now I'm blocked off on that account there. Let's go ahead and take care of one of these. Okay, and let's go ahead and take care of this. Okay, so it appears that the toggle wall, or the, not the toggle wall, the tank button over there is used. Or not the tank button. Man, I'm mixing all these up tonight. Recessed wall is used to get out when we need to go over there, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Wait, did I just lock myself out of here completely? I did, didn't I? Well, that just stinks. Now I cannot blow that bomb up. Oh, man. Okay, let's try this again. At least this time, this area will be a little bit faster. I can't believe I was being so silly. That was that was just so stupid. I, I don't know why I did that. I feel like the Sokoban puzzle was intended to be a little bit more difficult, but maybe not. I kind of like it this way. I wonder if there's a way you can bust this level by virtue of bringing blocks out here. Whoops. Okay. Boom. So I wonder why the force floors make the this sound only when you step on them. It's kind of interesting. Okay, let me take care of one of these while we're here. I'm trying to go for the last block in each um, collection just to make sure that I don't get clobbered by another block if I'm in one of these slide along the force force slides and hit a wall and slow down situations. Okay, let's do this over here. There we go. Oops, I missed it. There we go. Okay. Halfway there. I wonder why this level is called Corrupted System Folder. Maybe it has to do with getting the blocks to the uh, proper places, maybe? I don't know. 
Oops, that's going to be precarious. That's not going to be good. Okay, this time I'm going to make sure I get everything else before I go for that. My, the right side of my right hand just kind of fell asleep there. Okay, I'm going to play with my left hand because my right hand's falling asleep. Okay, I'm going to make sure I blow this up first. I'm going to get this one. Okay, good. I was concerned about that one. Oh, I could have gone for that, but oh well. Uh, let's make sure I got that. I guess I don't really need to worry about... Yeah, I can totally go for that now. There we go. Okay, now push up here. There we go. Alright, we are nearly three quarters of the way done cleaning up our corrupted system folder. Maybe that's what this is supposed to be. It's a cleanup, you know, of uh, your disk drive or something like that. Okay, I'm going to assume that we need to go in through the recessed wall here. Okay, do not hit bombs. Hitting bombs is hazardous to your health. I probably should have done this first. Okay, good. That's safe. You can never tell. Hmm. I like this idea of having to access different ways out of a room so you can blow up these bombs. That's an interesting concept. Because now, see, I have to get to the... Well, I can get to the yellow and blue doors from the slide, but it's still an interesting concept. And I like the fact that they all connect to the maze, so at least you can get to them from multiple places. Whoops, I could have gone for that. Looks like I'll need to go back into the maze. Okay, let's do this. I know you guys are sick of that sound, so I'm going to make sure I can get this quickly done. And not die while doing so. There we go. Excellent! We've cleaned up our folder, and we will take on the strangers in the next video.